Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this very small video, I'm going to show you one of the debugging tricks that you can use when you're working with Xcode 13 and iOS 15. So here is my very simple application. We have an image which is simply showing a light bulb and we have a toggle. We're also using a bindable expression. You can see the whenever we toggle the value of the toggle is going to get updated in our state. So this means that whenever the state is going to get changed, the view gets rendered, meaning the body will get rendered. But the question in this case is, will the body get rendered by looking at the code right now? You will do different things to find out if the body can get rendered. Right. I mean, you can definitely debug. You can put a breakpoint and debug it to see if it gets rendered. But now in iOS 15 and Xcode 13, you have another option to see when the body gets rendered. And this is only for use for debugging. So we can go ahead and use something called print changes. And print changes is a new function that has been added. It's actually underscore print changes that is going to get fired whenever we are changing the body. So whenever the body is changing, it's going to print out the changes, what caused the body to change. So let's go ahead and first run the application in our browser, in our simulator. Okay. So you can see the content view self identity is on change. So basically this is the first time the content view is kind of like getting loaded. So you can see that it's, it got changed. The next time it didn't really do anything. That's some sort of uh, debugging other message, which has nothing to do with the body getting rendered. But you can see that whenever I am switching between on and off, the body is not really getting rendered. So even though the state value might be getting updated, because this is a bindable expression, the body is not getting rendered again. So how can we make sure that the body can get rendered? Well, the reason the body is not getting rendered is because we are not using the is on anywhere in our code. The is on is not really responsible for invalidating certain nodes or certain tree structure, certain leaves, or well, not leaves, but nodes, I guess. Uh, so since it is not really in that hierarchy of making or marking it as something has changed, so that's why the body is not getting rendered. So we can go ahead and choose over here. We can say if it's on, then we can go ahead and display light bulb dot fill, or we can simply go ahead and display light bulb. All right. So now since we're using is on and there is a condition based on the condition, a different image will be provided with the system name. Let's go ahead and run this now. And when you're running this, now if I go ahead and change this, you can see that it's telling us that it has changed. Every time I do that, so let's go ahead and refresh it again. Every time I turn on or off, you can see the content view. The view is getting re-rendered and it is even telling you that is on is the one that actually got changed. That's the one that is responsible for re-rendering this particular view. So this means this print changes can become very, very handy for debugging purposes, for checking that who caused the view to get rendered. So this is available in iOS 15 and Xcode 13. So make sure that you use this uh, when you are creating your Swift UI application for debugging. So this can definitely really become very handy uh, when you're building much more complicated applications. Thank you. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy courses. I have a brand new course, uh, Swift UI Cookbook which contains over 100 recipes for building iOS applications using SwiftUI framework.
Apart from that, I also have MVVM design pattern using SIF, which is a UI kit framework. SIF UI declarative interfaces for Apple devices, which is 25.5 hours long codes. Core data mastering RX SIFT, complete guide to uh, the combined framework, async and await, SIFT for intermediate developers, MVVM design pattern for iOS using SIFT UI, and many more courses. Check out the YouTube description to find a link for all the courses. And thank you so much. Please share, subscribe, and if you have any comments, use the comment section. Thank you so much.